Now, I used to be a sneakerhead, but about the past six months, I've tried to downsize, and I've realized the one shoe that I only need. The 19, I, the 1985 Air Jordan 1. The first shoe that they came out with, they literally hit the banger. On the first shoe, the literal first shoe they came out with. I used to be a big fan of fours. I used to be a huge fan of 11s, threes, had a pair of nines, had a pair of eights. And one thing about those shoes is you wear them, but you try not to get them dirty, which is how can you try not to get shoes dirty when you literally wear them on your feet all day and you're walking around on the ground. So with me doing some traveling, I realized I needed a pair of shoes that I could walk and get dirty and it wouldn't be the end of the world for me which is these right here. Okay, what you are witnessing right now has become my everyday fit. Unless it's warm. Then it's shorts. But I've downsized all my clothes to black. That way I don't have to worry about what I'm matching with, what I'm wearing. And I've downsized all my shoes that was almost 70 pairs of shoes to one specific shoe, and that is Jordan 1. Now even having one, two, three pair is too much now that I realize. I think only two pair is good enough until you smoke one enough that you need another pair. I've been consistently wearing these pair of ones right here almost daily for about six months and they still are presentable. I've never had a pair of shoes that I've even been willing to wear that many times. I'm so worried about them getting dirty that I just don't wear them, I don't get it. So these are what I'm only rocking from now on. And I made that commitment and ever since I made that commitment, I've saved more money by not buying crazy off the wall shoes that I'm only gonna wear once. I got another color out of respect. And I just picked up the last color. Now, I will not be buying another pair of shoes until at least one of these pairs are so smoked that they're unwearable. That shoe came out in 1980. Five. 1985, that's seven years before I was born. And it was the first of its kind. So how does a shoe that's the first one still have the longevity that it has? So if you haven't seen the movie Air on Amazon Prime, I suggest you go watch it because it has a lot of this information. But prior to 1985 and a little bit past 1985, the NBA used to enforce a rule that the sneakers had to be and all sneakers must be either 51 percent black or white and can have minimal team color accent this is the norm and upheld and lacked attention until 1985 michael jordan had a new deal with nike for red and black air jordan ones which would be this right here they were not supposed to have that red around it i don't even think that they could barely have that black swoosh like that or the black laces i mean this shoe was so popular and is still so popular that for one they're re-releasing them every few years and they're still selling out and the ones that came out in 1985 they got a hefty price tag on them thirty thousand dollars for 1985 Air Jordan 1 OG. What? That's insane. Now the question is, how can something, the first of its kind, stand the test of time, literally, to this point, probably eternity. I don't know when these shoes won't be popular anymore. I mean, they're coming out with new colors every year and they're still releasing the same old ones and they're still selling 
out. It was hard for me to get these. And even if you want these ones that came out two years ago, let's check the price on these. 416 was the last sale on the Lost and Found OGs. Buy for 244, which is still way above the retail price. Now, how does something stand the test of time like that? And how does something stay popular so long? If you ask me, I think it's because Nike came in at the perfect time and got the perfect player to make such an impact that now it's more than just a basketball shoe. At this point, it's not really even a basketball shoe. People don't play basketball in the ones. At this point, it's became a fashion icon maybe. I mean, this is quite possible. The most popular silhouette in a shoe ever besides what Chuck Taylors and Vans maybe this right here almost any person in the world you point this out and they know that this is a Nike shoe I don't know if they know it's Air Jordan but they know it's a Nike shoe and I'd say at least half those people that know it's a Nike shoe know it's Air Jordan wow 